Some guy, a CEO, and a migrant sit at a table. Twelve cookies lie on the table. The CEO takes eleven and says to the guy, Beware, I think the migrant wants your cookie. Welcome to an exploration of the divide and rule policy, a tactic that has shaped the course of history and continues to influence our world today. The divide and rule policy, also known as divide and conquer, is a time-tested strategy employed in politics and sociology. Its primary objective, to gain and maintain power by creating divisions among subjects or populations. This tactic finds its roots in the strategies of ancient empires and rulers, including the likes of Julius Caesar and Napoleon. The divide and rule policy works by breaking up existing power structures, preventing alliances and fostering discord. The aim is to weaken any potential opposition and strengthen the position of the elite. Historically, it has been a favorite tool of empires seeking to expand their territories. Take, for instance, the British Raj in India. The British astutely manipulated communal tensions to maintain their hold over the subcontinent. By exploiting pre-existing religious, linguistic, and caste divisions, they effectively prevented any united opposition to their rule. Fast forward to the present day, and you'll find that the divide and rule policy is alive and well. It's not confined to the realm of politics either. The business world, for instance, uses similar tactics in market segmentation, dividing consumers into distinct groups to better control and influence their buying behavior. In the geopolitical arena, the divide and rule policy is a common strategy. Look at the Middle East. The region's complex web of religious and ethnic divisions has been exploited by various powers to further their vested interests. But what about the critics? They argue that the divide and rule policy does more harm than good. It manipulates communal tensions, fosters hostility, and often leads to violent conflicts. It's a strategy that, while effective in the short term, can have devastating long-term consequences. So, what have we learned about the divide and rule policy? It's a strategy that has been used for centuries to gain and maintain power. It works by exploiting divisions, preventing alliances, and fostering discord. From ancient empires to modern-day corporations, the divide and rule policy continues to shape our world in profound ways. But as we move forward, it's essential to recognize these tactics for what they are. Understanding the divide and rule policy is the first step towards countering it. Only by fostering unity and cooperation can we hope to overcome the divisions that this policy seeks to create. In the end, the divide and rule policy serves as a stark reminder of the power of unity. As the old saying goes, united we stand, divided we fall. It's a lesson from history that continues to hold true today. So let's strive for unity, for in unity lies strength. Next time you're angry because those people did or said something your people don't like or disagree with, step back and check if you and your perceived enemy are fighting over crumbs while someone else is busy eating the whole damn cake.